Hey everyone, this is Katie. I have an Ender 3 Pro 3D printer and I'm having some issues with the extruder and I'll show you an example of that right now. So yeah, as you can see, it can barely grip onto that filament. It's skipping a lot of steps, and obviously I'm not able to get a successful print like this. Um, I have tried a lot of different solutions. I've tried several different temperature settings, um, anywhere from 185 to like 210. I'm using uh, PLA from 3D Solutech. And uh, the first few months of having this printer, it worked great. I was able to print successfully. As you can see, I've been printing these visors for medical professionals. In the first few months, I was printing a bunch of these. I donated a bunch of them. Um, but unfortunately now, with this issue, I'm not able to print anymore. So I'm hoping someone can help me out and that I can get back to business with uh, printing and donating um, these shields for medical professionals. Um, so a quick example here, as you can see here on the right, um, this is an example of a successful print that I did a few months ago when this issue was not happening. And this on the left is obviously, you know, the, the same part with that really severe under extrusion issue. And obviously that's not usable. So the issue has been kind of accumulating over time. At first it was like one little knocking sound once in a while. And now, I mean, obviously, it's almost every other step, pretty much. Um, and I not only tried a bunch of different temperature settings, but I also tried uh, actually replacing the entire feeder system. I replaced all of these parts here, um, you know, this lever, this gear, this whole piece here. I have a new motor in here. I replaced the tube, all the fittings. Um, I replaced the hot end as well, brand new nozzle. So everything related to the feeder system has been completely replaced. And I was pretty surprised that none of those replacements actually fixed the issue or made a difference. Um, I also tried, um, there's a bunch of different suggestions online. Um, I also tried uh, adjusting the tension here of this um, feeder uh, screw here. So I tried loosening it, I tried tightening it, really didn't make a difference at all. Um, and I found if I actually if I actually squeeze this and kind of, you know, with my hand, like feed it through, you know, obviously that works, but, you know, I'm not going to stand there and, and do that. That's obviously not a working solution. Um, so I'm having a hard time figuring out what to do next. Um, like I said, I've tried a bunch of different suggestions online and I will paste those links below in the description. There's a bunch of info on Reddit and other websites uh, that I've tried and I am not sure what to do now. Like I said, I replaced a bunch of parts, tried a bunch of different settings. You know, obviously it's not caused by the distance to the bed because, you know, I'm just doing this um, extrusion test and it's obviously way off the bed, so that's not the problem. Um, so I'm wondering what to do next. And if anyone could help me out, provide some suggestions on things I have not tried yet, if anyone else has had this issue, uh, please let me know. I'd really like to get back to printing parts and uh, printing visors for medical professionals. But anyway, thank you, and I hope everyone is staying safe and doing as well as possible.